What do President Manuel Quezon's 1937 Geisler? President Jose Laurel's 1947 Packard? And General Douglas MacArthur's Cadillac have in common? They were all restored to pristine condition by one company. If some car shops specialize in souping up cars, Alfred's Motor Works bring back old cars to life. And we are not just talking about reviving dead engines and reupholstering the interior. At Alfred's, car restoration has leveled up to an art. How would you like to see these old cars back on the streets of Metro Manila? These cars are part of our history. And thanks to restoration shops, some of these cars are now running and in excellent condition. Alfred Ferris is the owner of Alfred's Motor Works, known for revving back to life vintage vehicles. He began working with cars at a young age at his father's car shop. My father is a car shop owner, so yung bahay namin sa kayong talyer, one in the same. So as early as mga five years old, may retention na ako. Ang playground ko, yung talyer namin. Right after high school, I was 16 years old. Parang gusto ko na tumigil mag-aral. Kaya lang, pinupush lang ako ng father ko na, no, kailangan mag-degree holder ka. Alfred graduated with a commerce degree from the University of Santo Tomas. But cars were his first love. He set up a car shop and began reconditioning old cars. Ang natutunan ko naman with college, yung commerce ang course ko is to handle the uh, business. Yung father ko naman, pin food, feeding ako ng mga knowledge niya. Ginagawa namin vintage cars. For example, may bago kaming project na dumating, maghahanap pa kami ng libro eh, to help us kung paano gawin yung sasakyan eh. Alfred's shop, they don't just restore the original bodywork. They resurrect the whole thing, including the engine and electrical wirings. And then there is a matter of getting the exact parts. With the vintage car restoration, uh, very tedious. Yan. Uh, one thing, uh, availability of parts, wala ka agad. Pag sinabing Buick, Buick parts alone lang. Hindi pwedeng kumuha ka ng Toyota, gano'n. No? There are clients' preference na gusto nila mag-shortcut, gusto makatipid, they put uh, other parts na, which is a no-no for a correct restoration. If he couldn't find one, he fabricates one close to the original. Pag wala na talagang chance, talagang yung piyesang missing, fabrication. His shop at the corner of Kamuning Road and 11th Jamboree Street is also his showroom. He buys old cars, restores them, and sells them to car lovers. Even the government has commissioned Alfred to restore some historical cars, including President Manuel L. Quezon's 1937 Geisler, Jose Laurel's 1947 Packard, Elpidio Carino's 1953 Chrysler Imperial, and Cadillacs owned by Manuel Rojas and American General Douglas MacArthur. For him, these presidential cars were the most challenging. Pinakamahirap na nirestore ko talaga yung mga presidential cars. Pressured ka nun. One thing, you should do it museum quality. So talagang in every aspect, in all parts talagang maganda, makinis, tama. Mga ibang kotse kasi ron, for example, yung mga kaila Quezon, one of one cars yun eh. Mga specialized cars na mga pinagamit sa kanila, walang kamuka, yun ang nagpapahirap doon. Charlie Alvarez is the youngest founder of the Vintage Car Club of the Philippines, which was established in 1974. He was 24 years old then. Before I started my shop, which was in uh, high school, I didn't have the means. I didn't have the means to put up a shop. So I have to do it manually. I have to do the restoration myself. And uh, it would take me 
about a year to finish one car, meticulously putting them back. And uh, since I was uh, studying, I was going to school, I only have the weekends uh, to fix the cars. From that uh, experience, I learned how to do cars properly. Like Alfred, the Vintage Car Club was also commissioned to restore a presidential car for the centennial celebration. President Aguinaldo's 1924 Packard. Charlie has also sold a few junk vintage cars to Alfred. According to him, restoring vintage cars takes time and money, and most of all, passion. At present, a uh, good restorable car will not go less than one million. Uh, with this particular Cadillac 1930, uh, I bought that one for about 50,000 pesos because at that time it was really, really junk. Uh, if you will look at the car, even the junk man I think will not pay 2,000 for it. But uh, since the passion was there and the challenge was there, so I took the car home and I was able to uh, put it back on the ground running. Cost me about uh, to finish the car another 600,000. I have to go to the U.S., buy the part, buy the white side wall, the wire wheels, everything. Given the talent, he believes that it is their duty to preserve these cars for future generations to appreciate. These cars were once uh, witnesses to our history. They were uh, what you call now the senior citizens. These cars he had painted white and are now being rented for TV shows, birthdays, and weddings, becoming another part of someone's history. Alfred and Charlie may not belong to the same decade, but they have the same passion for old cars, usually much older than both of them. To restore them and keep them running is an exacting art one in which only a few have the talent. Like all works of art, car restoration is an accurate and precise process. Like a family heirloom, knowledge is passed on ensuring a lasting legacy for generations of car restorers. And these craftsmen are not only preserving objects, they are preserving pieces of history. Before I go, remember, anything, any idea, anybody can be a game changer. Are you?